The Embassy of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in Jakarta commemorates World Arabic Language Day, which falls on December 18th. The embassy states that the Saudi government wants to promote Arabic language in Indonesia. The Saudi Arabian Embassy held an event at the Institute for Islamic and Arab Studies, Libya, in Jakarta on Monday to commemorate World Arabic Language Day. In his speech, Saudi Ambassador to Indonesia, Faisal Abdullah Amodi said that the establishment of Libya in 1980 was the part of Saudi government's efforts to promote the use of Arabic language. Saudi also built similar language institutes in other countries. Ambassador Amodi says that Arabic came to Indonesia in the 7th century and has been widely studied as Islamic-based language in Indonesia, the biggest Muslim-majority country in the world. اللغة العربية في إندونيسيا فيها اهتمام كبير في إندونيسيا يعني ملاحظ باللغة العربية لأن هي لغة الدين الإسلامي إندونيسيا أكبر دولة مسلمة من حيث عدد السكان متوقع أن حزيد الاهتمام طبعا بال... During the event, Indonesian college students read poems in Arabic and perform a drama about Arab calligraphy. Arabic has been the sixth official language of the United Nations since 1973 or 50 years ago. In 2012, the UNESCO set December 18 as the World's Arabic Language Day. According to the UNESCO, Arabic language plays an important role in the spread of science and culture. The UNESCO set Arabic the language of poetry and arts as the theme of this year's commemoration. The phrase means Arabic language shows its beauty and strength through poetry and arts.